Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to today's edition of the afternoon edition. My name is Isa Nu. Today, we shall be focusing on the Nigerian Copyright Commission, and so many Nigerians definitely I will be questioning what role has the NCC played over time and with respect to so many issues that has to do with content development. But then, that's the more reason why we are here today, for them to throw a more light on their activities in that particular commission. For so many persons, when you hear the abbreviation NCC, you think of National Communication Commission, but no, we also have the Nigerian um, Copyright um, Commission. So the Nigerian Copyright Commission plays a critical role um, in safeguarding intellectual property rights in Nigeria, particularly for creators, artists, and content producers. Uh, with the increasing challenges of digital piracy and copyright infringement, the NCC's um, objectives and initiatives are more important than ever. These Discussion will explore the Commission's core objectives, um, its strategies for combating piracy, and the latest development in Nigeria's Copyright Commission laws. I would also delve into how the NCC collaborates with other agencies and the educational programs it has implemented over time, and the advice it offers to young content creators on, the pro on protecting their intellectual property. Unfortunately, so many young persons who create content these days don't even know that there is an existing body that can serve them better. But then, who is the image maker of that particular commission? We have two of them here today who will be telling us more about copyright um, content, um, copyright commission, and also um, how they can also help those who create content. Probably, I may also ask them um, if Facebook has finally. Um, started paying Nigerians um, for many of those who create content. There are so many issues. TikTok, have they started? So these are some of the questions that people will definitely ask. Um, that if you want to protect our content, how can we be of help to you as a commission? And what role can you play? Is there any infringement in terms of the things we do even online? So these are critical aspects of content creation and every other aspect that has to do with the commission that we have to know today. And definitely, there are so many issues and um, today we are having two of our key guests here um, but then it is important that you keep your pen aside and then also tell us more after this program definitely we are going to review by going to the street to get some vox pop about what the commission is all about so stay tuned while we go for this break We are a nation blessed with people of diverse cultures, religions, languages, and opinions. It is ironic that we are now being ripped apart by our greatest strength, our diversity. We have allowed intolerance, insensitivity, bigotry, and nepotism to blind our vision of the greatness we can achieve working together as one. We may not have the same culture, nor religion, nor language, but we all belong to the same nation by the divine will of God. We did not choose to be Nigerians. Nigeria chose us. This nation is our divine heritage, and if we open our eyes, we would realize that what divides us pales in comparison to what unites us. And by the comparison and conciliation of our differences, we will grow until our differences disappear. Our unity cannot be willed by mere declarations, nor do we get unity by ignoring the questions that beg for answers. We must celebrate our diversity and debate our differences without fracturing our unity, our strength is not in our numbers but in our unity because even the weak become strong when united nigeria unite this message is brought to you by abuja broadcasting corporation owners and operators of aso radio 93.5 fm abuja aso television dstv channel 392 star times terrestrial channel 127 Free TV Channel 507, People's TV Channel 285, and UHF Channel 38. The challenge of Nigeria 
as a free state in 20th century Africa is the need to revive the stature of man in Africa and restore the dignity of man in the world. Nigerians believe passionately in the fundamental human rights. We regard all races of the human family as equal. Under no circumstance shall we accept the idea that the black race is inferior to any other race. I appeal to all our leaders, far and near, to forget the wounds which were inflicted in cause of our internet in altercation. The love of our country should outweigh the love of our petty selves. The enjoyment of individual freedom under the law should mean more to us than our self-centered party programs and manifestos. Common dangers and common enemies alert us on the need for common security. Come and join Abu Bakr with me, Gadauna, Awalawa, Akitala, Osarebe, Okpara, Ikoku, Aminu Kano, Ibrahim Imam and Taka. Let us bind the nation's wound and let us heal the breaches of the past so that in forging our nation there shall emerge on this continent a hate-free, fear-free and greed-free people who shall be in the vanguard of a world task force whose assignment is not only to revive the such of man in Africa, but to restore the dignity of man in the world. The welfare of millions of people for generations to come may be affected by the wisdom which we here display. If Nigerian leaders and our British partners are to prove themselves worthy of their trust, now is the time for us solemnly and truly to dedicate ourselves to seeking the greatest good of the greatest number of our people in Nigeria. Independence for Nigeria in 1960 is imperative. But independence for Nigeria as a corporate entity is not enough. The peoples of Nigeria must at the same time be guaranteed their freedom. We must ensure, we must ensure that in an independent Nigeria, individual citizens throughout the land enjoy liberty, human dignity and equality under the law. There must be one Nigeria with one constitution and one law for all. Let us therefore, Mr. Chairman Sir, close our ears to the Council of Despair which says that we cannot here at this conference agree on a constitution. If there is any doubt among us as to what should be written into the constitution, let us as Democrats that we profess ourselves to be refer such problems as the goal has done recently to the people whom we profess to represent either just before or at the federal elections late in 1989. Welcome back from that mild break and um, just before the break I did inform you that today we are having the image makers of the Nigerian Copyright Commission and the major person here Mrs. Ijoma Ebunike, um, the Director of Public Relations, Nigerian Copyright Commission. Good afternoon and welcome to the afternoon edition. Thank you very much, Nuru. The designation is the director of <laughs> okay. public affairs. Okay, public department. affairs, sorry. Public thank affairs department. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for that um, correction. And also we are having Mrs. Oyebola Oyewo, um, assistant director of public affairs department of the commission. Thank you very much. Again, it's Miss Oyebola. Miss Oyebola. Oh, sorry. <laughs> thank you so much for that correction. <laughs> but then, it's all part of it as you 
have some, some of this um, infringement. But then, still on this issue, I just gave an introduction now about the Copyright Commission, and I know it was established between 1989 and 1988, I think. And, uh, but then, since then, so many issues. The only time I do see issues on Copyright Commission back then in Lagos was when um, probably maybe somebody, an artist, is having another problem with an artist. But then, has it gone beyond that? Thank you very much, Nuhu. Yeah. Let's uh, put things in perspective okay. before we get deeper. Okay. Uh, the Nigerian Copyright Commission uh, was uh, inaugurated as a commission um, in March. Okay. Or rather, in August 19. That is why we're celebrating yeah. 19th of August 1989 okay. as a commission. But before then, it was existing as a council, wow. starting from 1985. Okay. Yes. So in 1989, it was upgraded with uh, you know, powers of regulation. So Nigerian Copyright Commission is now the regulatory body, the federal government regulatory body in charge of all matters copyright in Nigeria. Mm. So we have the mandate to regulate copyright, to administer copyright, to enforce copyright, to promote copyright in Nigeria. And then, of course, we prosecute infringers. Oh. That's a huge one. But then, in all this, what have you guys done so far based on these objectives? Beautiful. Um, like I told you, uh, on, on Monday, it was 19th of August, yeah. we became 35. So you will see it's, it's been a long, long time way, yeah. of administering and enforcing copyright in Nigeria. Uh, before now, no, I must tell you, we had an old law that was somewhat restrictive. It didn't give us a lot of powers to do a lot of things, but we tried. You know, the new law yeah. came into being, but signed into law actually uh, by President Muhammad Buhari on, uh, um, in March okay. 2023. We had an old law, but the issue before now had been the issue of punishment you know we had people acting with impunity we had people infringing on other people's works and that was because if you go to court you'll be asked to pay 5,000 naira so if I'm asked to pay 5,000 naira and I'm going to infringe on somebody's work and I'll make millions why not mm. so the act you know of infringement uh, continued but right now we have an act that has given the Commission powers you know to jail people we have uh, our 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 term in a minimum level you know before now it's you don't go beyond three years if you want to sentence somebody you don't go beyond a year but now when you have three years it is a minimum it means depending on the judge depending on the circumstance somebody can be jailed 20 years straight on that's a very good one because i'm happy with what you've and said somebody can even be fined billions of naira unlike in the past, unlike in the past. Uh, because this is actually uh, very good and uh, it is also very important that on the yes. public um get to know that look things have actually changed because even in the ndla in the space before the present um, director general so much has been happening but then when you have new laws in place and you have people who can actually enforce that law yes. and we have a judiciary who can also carry out cases and then see that yes it is timely done definitely we are going to see a more result from this commission but before i quickly go back to uh, go to uh, mrs um miss oyebola oyewo i would like us to go on a very short um break and then when we return we continue with her We are a nation blessed with people of diverse cultures, religions, languages, and opinions. It is ironic that we are now being ripped apart by our greatest strength, our diversity. We have allowed intolerance, insensitivity, bigotry, and nepotism to blind our vision of the greatness we can achieve working together as one. We may not have the same culture, nor religion, nor language, but we all belong to the same nation by the divine will of God. We did not choose to be Nigerians. Nigeria chose us. This nation is our divine heritage, and if we open our eyes, 
we would realize that what divides us pales in comparison to what unites us. And by the comparison and conciliation of our differences, we will grow until our differences disappear. Our unity cannot be willed by mere declarations, nor do we get unity by ignoring the questions that beg for answers. We must celebrate our diversity. Welcome back from that break. And um, just before the break, I did inform us that I will be moving directly to Ms. Oyebola Oyewo, who is the Assistant Director of Public Affairs Department of the Nigerian Copyright Commission. Uh, Madam has listed so many issues here. And um, unlike in the past, where you see people can just jump into your work, make use of it, make millions of it, because he knows that when she, he takes you to court or you take him to court, he's just going to pay some peanut, but he has made millions out of it. Mm. What process have you put on ground to see that, yes, these laws now that have strengthened you guys to actually um, carry out these enforceable uh, um, laws, mandate, what process have you guys put on ground to make sure that, yes, it is effective? Okay. <clears throat> Before I answer your question, yeah. let me also add some, a point to what she made. Apart from the um, new act having stiffer penalties, yeah. Um, because there's also this long um, court proceeding, you know, court processes can actually take a while. Yeah. The new act also makes provision for like, a, medi a mediation panel okay. where instead of going to court, the commission can actually medi mediate between yeah. um, um, between the between parties. Yeah, uh, yeah between the and the yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I thought I should put that out there. Okay. So to, uh, now answer your question, of course. Um, as because of the, um, the, the we have more power by, by, uh, by this new act, so of course we are going to have stepped up our enforcement activities. Of course, part of our activities um, includes um, you know ins inspections, um, raids, surveillances, and the likes. And then um, we also have regulatory schemes. Mm -hmm. We have um, we have quite a number of um, schemes, but I think the most recent being the copyright levy order. Um, the copyright levy order is a scheme that allows the commission to tax to put a tax on imported materials that are capable of being used to infringe copyrights mm. so that what that's about then of course we have um, our new our the nigerian copyright e registration system a platform that allows great um, right owners to register their work of course you know copyright is automatic yeah. but for you to, we have a database of right owners so um authors are expected to register their works online so that Nigeria, so that they are worked mm -hmm. by now, our database as a commission. So in case of an um, a dispute, um, of a dispute, we, we 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 know who actually owns what work. Yeah. That's intellectual property. Yes. Right. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so in this particular case now, um, looking at because I know, um, those days, um, for instance, in Lagos, we go to Alaba. Um, Alaba Axis and then mm -hmm. probably a uh, Jeremy Felodas um, uh, yeah. uh, where you see some of these musicians, um, actors and actresses yeah. who do come to actually promote their work. Mm -hmm. Now looking at this particular act now guiding you people to actually carry out um, some of these particular activities what would you say have changed from the past and now? Okay okay apart from the that's from um, the new act yeah based on the new act uh, what has made it uh, what has made the commission change its style with respect to this particular act now i know it has given the commission enough power mm -hmm. and do it can i can mm -hmm. okay please, please maybe you can just um you, you know we are in the digital era yeah. right now so before now the act we had couldn't control you know what happens in the digital space okay. but now the act has given us you know powers to control that and that is why we are working with people like uh, uh, Google you know yes. so now we are empowered to take down anything infringing on any content mm -hmm. any content that is infringing so and we are working with Google on that so before now we couldn't we are like uh, our hands were tied okay. but now with the new act whatever infringing content is uploaded we have the right to take it down and then of course to prosecute but in this particular aspect have you have your commission for instance have you established that strong ties i understand there's an intelligence ties between mm -hmm. the nigerian film and sensor board or, or nfcb or something mm -hmm. like that have you uh, have that kind of relationship to see that yes issues like this don't actually cause more problems oh not just we're just establishing the relationships a long-standing relationship mm -hmm. we call them sister agencies yes. the film corporation film video sensors board and the likes and just to even buttress her point we now have a unit for online 
the content creators. No, no, no. To yeah. monitor yeah. online yeah. piracy. Yeah. Uh, piracy. So we have a unit online yeah. cyber, uh, cyber, cyber crime unit. Yes. yes. So we have a specific okay. unit handling that. Okay. So what are the latest development now in Nigeria uh, with respect to the issues now that are sometimes you said okay you guys can just come out and if somebody put up a content that is not actually good for um, society consumption you can just pull it down okay what are the things the person the content creator needs to do to see that oh my content has been pulled down what offense have i committed how will he or she approaches the commission to see that yes um it gets the rights that it deserves yeah and that is why uh, the commission it's it's out there we have a uh, a lot of uh, platforms that people can reach us of course our website is up and running mm. so people are encouraged to go to our website www.copyright.gov.ng okay. it is very active you can state that again so that the viewers can listen can I get it www.copyright.gov.ng okay. that's our website okay. we're on instagram we're on Facebook, we're everywhere. And of course, we have offices in the 14, in 14 states of Nigeria where people all over can walk in and make inquiries or make complaints. We're in the Federal Secretary, that is our headquarters. So people can come, make inquiries, make complaints, and we'll take it up from there. Uh, have there been any major issue with respect to... The, because I understand that there is also a body for the social media content creators and um, over time within themselves they try as much as possible to have one or two roles to see that yes the content they push out there mm. is good for the society mm. have there been any situation where you guys sat with them tell them the rules guiding this particular um, creation of theirs as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an association of these particular people yes just most recently we had um, the Elcon. Okay. That is the Electronic uh, Media Content Owners Association of Nigeria visit the commission. They visited the Director General, and there we, you know, reiterated uh, our synergy, you know, and uh, kind of um, sensitized them on, you know, copyright. So we are working together. We are synergizing. They had uh, recently their, um, is it their third edition yes. of uh, uh, MCON. And we were there. Okay. Copyright was heavily represented. We were there to sensitize people. You know. So we are synergizing. Okay. In this particular case, have you over time have you guys educated? Maybe I can ask uh, Miss Oyebola now. Have you guys educated the public on the do's and don'ts? Uh, probably through traditional media or even the social media itself. Okay. The first, I will say we use all. We use both the traditional and the social media. We have. We are on Facebook. We're on Instagram, we're on X, and we're also TikTok. on TikTok. Recently. And yes, so we have, um, in, the, we are in the past, and still we are still doing that, we educate the judiciary, the enforcement personnel like the police. We, we also have school, um, school enlightenment programs. We have uh, for secondary schools, for universities, yeah. In fact, I think um, 2023, we instituted a national creative writing competition yes. for secondary schools in Nigeria, mm -hmm. where um, winners were nationally awarded. And then, um, I don't know if you did, uh, we also have, um, of course, we have, uh, we, have um, we, are, we also have our in-house um, publication, quarterly, um, bi -monthly publication, publication, where we sensitize the public. Okay. And of course, we have opportunities like this, like this. Mm -hmm. I, would, I, would, I would quickly add that uh, our public are everybody that is everybody in Nigeria is our public whether you're in the secondary school you're in the university you're a youth copper you're a broadcaster you're whoever because everybody is a creative being yeah. so whoever has the ability to create something is our public so we are sensitizing, we are we're using the traditional media like we are using, we are here, mm. sensitizing. Mm. We are on Facebook, like my colleague has said, we are everywhere, we, sense, we go to our stakeholders, like she said, the judges have, are being sensitized, it's uh, an ongoing thing, the members of the Nigerian Bar Association, so that there will be smooth and effective adjudication of copyright in Nigeria. So we sensitize students, we sensitize, we go to the market. The booksellers, mm. the Nigerian uh, Publishers Association, they are our critical stakeholders. The even the um, uh, visual artists, 
the society, mm -hmm. for Nigerian artists, they are stakeholders. So our stakeholders are enormous and we have been synergizing, we have been talking, we have been sensitizing, we have been enlightening. We know that we should do more and we are getting there. So as as a, a, can I also, also add that, in yes. fact, we are also preparing a handbook for journalists. Yes. Okay. Copyright handbook for journalists yes. to synthesize the broadcasters themselves. Okay. To know, apart from just knowing how to report, also to also know, to also know the basics of copyright. Okay. Yes. Okay, well, if you can just add to this, because um, now that you've listed these particular procedures and um, for Nigerians to actually know what your activities are all about, mm -hmm. it still boils down still to the issue of um, implementation of the policies that, okay. that has been set okay. aside for you guys to be able to carry out your work successfully. Do, do you people have a tax force on ground to follow up? A, when there are eventualities of somebody infringing another person's right based okay. on this. Let me, let me take that up. Okay. Um, like I told you, yes. enforcement is our major mandate. And like I did say, we are synergizing with you know, the police, the customs, to ensure that people's rights mm. are protected. So from you know, the commission, we have copyright officers. I'm sitting here, I'm a copyright officer. The AD is a copyright officer. I have my card, and wherever I see piracy happen, I stop. And I have the power of the police to arrest. Then I really have the power of the police to enter into any premises where we presume or suspect that piracy is taking place. We have the power to enter, to break into, to arrest, to seize. Like most recently, um, in Port Harcourt, the commission seized three shiploads of uh, pirated materials, what about 300 million, and that was between January and March this year. So if, if I have to go back a little, we've seized over 65 shipping containers of pirated um, materials coming into the country, and that is on one side, we've uh, arrested so many people, over about a million people, taking them to court. We've had over 65 convictions. And uh, you know, I did tell you that the law before was restrictive. But we've been able to arrest and convict about 65. So we know that going forward, given the new law, we're going to be arresting, prosecuting, and we have so many convictions coming on. Okay, uh, that's a very good one and very elaborate. And uh, uh, Ms. Oyo, can you just respond? Because we're having a major issue, even in the university system, where there are so many issues of um, piracy taking place by mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. You discover that somebody has gotten ease or attestes or on ground. But then another person has actually published it. You don't even know. Myself, I'm a victim of that. Okay. I discovered that uh, the work, my research work for, my, for like two years, um, after my defense, I went online and saw that my work has been published. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's terrible. So are you also facing the educational system? Okay. Uh, before I come to your question, yes. let me add to what my director yes. has said. Um, in addition to some of the things she said, we also have a scheme that we call the Staff Neighborhood and the Paris Surveillance Scheme. Okay. Snap. So is that, I mean, that's just, that's just that's, apart from us working in the office, even while we're at home, our antennas are on. We are even empowered mm. to, to, con to conduct surveillance within our neighborhoods where we, where we live. Albeit COVID, so we're not uh, so mm. here. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but then, moreover, um, now to come back to your to your question yes. now, you know, um, even if we had an office in every state of the federation, I do I dare say that it may still not be sufficient. That's why we also engage with stakeholders to also take responsibility for their copyrights, and that's why we created the Nigerian Copyright e registration Scheme, so that when you have a work, you come to notify the commission, so that when there are issues of infringement like your work like mm. this is my project it's been infringed on we know it is yours you know we already we already have some some level of um leverage by, by that by that database that we have with us you understand yes. so we, we encourage right owners to also take responsibilities for their work come i mean come and report that's how we exist to serve this, the public come to us I'm, I'm sure we've had instances when i remember i think it was about who i think it was about mm -hmm. yes. the in inform the commission yes we have also had a um, good love, Jonathan. Good Jonathan. Uh, People should also take response because even if we're in every cell of the federation, we can't cover all the grounds. 
I don't know if you understand. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. And invariably, there should be um, a partnership. There's always a partnership yes, there is. between um, the NCC and even Stake major stakeholders yes, that are involved. Yes. But uh, in this particular case now, because the tertiary institution is one body that is very, very important mm -hmm. in any society, mm -hmm. uh, where the bulk of research actually do take place, yes. and there's need for somebody to have um, uh, it, yes. for it re is our research guided, guided by the Copyright Commission. Mm. So uh, what do you think they should do? Because the issue of having a platform online mm. to see that yes, people come to register, mm. like mine, mm. I was doing my app the moment I submitted. Uh, just within a week, I was <laughs> <even> <laughs> going to publish my work. Mm -hmm. and, uh, thank God I've already sent my work for, for it to be published. Uh, before I was able to say, uh, somebody has actually carried my work and then um, published it, the world work on the internet, I, it was selling the work so in this particular case are there mm -hmm. special units that handles issues like this in some of these institutions? Well, we, like I said, we are synergizing with uh, um, educational, yes, yes. educational institutions you write your project, you have, the manuscript is yours, yes. because just like I said before, I say copyright, it's automatic as long as you have expressed your work on a conceivable medium, mm. it is yours. Now, the manus manuscript, you can register your, you can come register your manuscript, so that if any such infringement takes place, you know, we, we can defend that. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be a very huge one, because I'm um, so And I also say, say we, also, we also have, um, have um, copyright clubs, we have started with this, uh, secondary, secondary schools. School, yes. They're taking also to universities. Yes. Also, also sensitize them so they know their, 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 their limitations and exceptions to copyright to understand that they cannot just take people's work and use it without due recourse to mm -hmm. the original. Um, an ongoing yes, 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 an ongoing. Okay, just the last one before I go back to Ms. Oyewo. Uh, uh, what do you think would be the future of this particular commission with the rate of technological advancement um, in the country? and across the globe. The mm -hmm. issue of artificial intelligence has actually come in. short, I heard a religious leader saying that artificial intelligence uh, may be many costs to us than even good. So how will the agency manage issues like this? Well, um, like I said, we have a new act, but our act is progressive. Okay. It's an act that, you know, we have to be reviewing from time to time. Now, the issue of AI is you know, very visible out there. So I know that with time, we are now we are going to include, you know, how to check it. We're working with Google, like I told you, and some of these other people. I know that with time, premised on our uh, present act, we should be able to check the menace of AI. But like I told you, um, we put down content that are infringing. We are getting there. Okay, thank no, you so much. That's a very good one from Miss. Ijoma Ibunike. And but then let me also, Mrs. Ijoma Ibunike, and let me also get your view, Miss Oyebola Oyewo, on this particular issue. Now, what are the basic message from the Commission now to the public? I think the basic message would be that we are already updating, we are proactive, we already updating our legal framework to, to, to combat the AI menace. Okay. So they, we can, they can, they can be, it can be rest assured, we are already doing that. The commission is already working on it. Thank that. you so much, yes, um, both of you, yeah. for um, coming to the afternoon edition. It's nice Thank always you. having um, people like you to actually come out and tell the public um, what your commission is all about, what they are doing, how can the public also help. Mm -hmm. um, but then with this education now, it is obvious that the commission, um, that as a public, understand um, what your role is in the society and definitely they will fetch you more information on how you should go about uh, with your activities, most especially in the corners uh, where people actually do copyright. Um, uh, infringement and so many lots but then still in Lagos State has always been one of the up for such issues <laughs> Lagos State <laughs> um, to be particular and I think there's always one particular advert that always comes up whenever I see this new would being advertised <laughs> in is it in Anambra or Nietzsche in <laughs> Nietzsche, 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 Nietzsche. so I will not even forget that so <laughs> these areas are areas that people have actually called for so much attention uh, with respect to the activities of the Nigerian Copyright Commission my name is Isa No, and this is how far we can go today on the afternoon edition discussing with the directors in the Nigerian um, Copyright Commission. Have a wonderful day and stay blessed.